that he's also been arrested uh, by the CBI in a short while. We'll find out whether the CBI will get five days custody. Gargi ji, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal ji without any incriminating evidence against him is a classic case of flagrant misuse and abuse of power by the central government agencies. The CBI is no more central bureau of investigation. It is. It stands for circulating baseless information. And this is an undeclared emergency where central government is trying every means to put him behind bars. Today, CBI was caught lying red-handed. The court acknowledged that CBI statements and evidence do not match. During the uh, court proceedings, the CBI lawyer stated that Arvind Kejriwalji had distanced himself from the case and blamed Mr. Manish Sisodia. Then and there, Mr. Kejriwalji stood up and stated that CBI was lying and asserted that he never made such a statement. He emphasized and very clearly said that he is innocent, Manish Sisodia ji is innocent and Aam Aadmi Party is innocent. He challenged the CBI to provide any proof or any statement which he has given in the past. But the record also stated that no such statement was made. These statements are just made to dominate the media headline, headlines and to create a false narrative against Aam Aadmi Party and to show discord between the leaders because CBI or ED has failed to give any direct evidence, any recovery of money, any money trail. They are not even named in the FIR. So this whole case is false and fabricated and is an attempt to crush Aam Aadmi Party. Right, so Anmol, uh, uh, Pawar, your response to that, the CBI says they need his custody to confront him with all the evidence, perhaps other witnesses also, you know, uh, Vijay Nair's name is being taken. So the CBI is saying that, that, that Mr. Kejiwal, they need to confront him, that money was shifted to Goa. So it's various allegations and that's why they moved in to arrest him and now, you know, want to further strengthen their case. Hargi ji, uh, the reality is that for the first time he was called for interrogation by the CBI in 2023. The same uh, case which they stated during Manish Sisodia ji's bail was reiterated today. They have nothing incriminating against Mr. Kejriwal since last two years. They have failed to provide any direct evidence linking him to the proceeds of money. They have failed to prove that the money was used in Goa election. He was not even named in the ECIR or FIR of the CBI. More than four charge sheets have been filed since last two years, but they have found nothing against him. He has not been mentioned in any of the charge sheets by the CBI. Now, the question which arises is, why were they waiting for such a long time? It's been two years. If they had some material against Mr. Kejriwal, then why didn't they seek his custody earlier? Because they were waiting for uh, the Supreme Court to give the judgment and there's a very strong possibility that Mr. Kejriwal will be enlarged on bail. Because the way High Court has heard the matter, without even formal issuance of the order by the Sessions Court and a stay was granted, which has been challenged by uh, the legal team of Mr. Kejriwal before the Honorable Supreme Court. That is the reason why yesterday, for the first time after two years, the CBI entered because they were, uh, there's a strong possibility of him getting bail from the Honorable Supreme Court.